And let's bring in Sebastian Galley, who's a senior forex strategist at BNP Paribas, and he joins us on the line from New York. And Sebastian, it looks like the German government is not only banning short selling on these euro area bonds, but also for uh, wider stocks as well. Okay, so the information that we know at this point in time is uh, the ban on naked to short selling, the ban on the uh, 10 largest financial institutions in Germany, which includes basically the, the uh, Allianz and the uh, München Feldischung, which are very big uh, uh, insurance uh, companies also. What we hear from uh, sources from the German government as, uh, you know, coming out in the Handelsblatt, which is a German newspaper, is that they want to spread this to uh, a naked ban on all uh, stocks, at least all German stocks. That there are also a lot of negotiation going around at level of the European Union, uh, wanting to limit certain types of activities and the maximum revenues you can get from uh, some of these uh, speculative activities. One way they would achieve that is basically through caps or higher re uh, capital requirements. And so they, essentially what they're trying to do is there's money coming out of the central bank going through the financial markets. Some of it is considered to be negative, and they want to basically mm -hmm. limit the potential for development in these directions. So the uh, people are getting slightly concerned about the, the risk of a uh, naked sovereign CDS, uh, and this is basically what's going to be hit, but it may be something else in the future. And that's creating a, a tremendous amount of uncertainty in the market because it's increasing regulatory risk. And what people are doing right now is they're replacing their bet on the credit side by bet on the currency, which is really a one-way bet, unfortunately. There's uh, actually no speculator, speculator willing to basically go long euro dollar. That means your dollar is uh, breaking and it's probably going to break the 50% uh, retracement of its move from uh, 82 cents to 160, which is right now 121.34. Uh, and that probably means uh, that we're going to head for 119 pretty fast. Oh, wow. 119 pretty soon. I'm trying to look for some support lines uh, for the euro. Are there any right now? You're looking at 119 or so. Is that where the uh, selling ends? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's uh, going to get a lot worse. So the problem is the, uh, the sovereign wealth funds in Asia are um, going to see and increasingly see some risk uh, in uh, their investment in the eurozone, uh, the, and they're probably going to buy increasingly into the U.S. Uh, yield curve, which is, will flatten it uh, increasingly so. And uh, as they basically reduce their buying of euros, because net they're probably still buying it, uh, that will continue to uh, remove the floor from the euro dollar. The only people who are probably purchasing it net-net in any large sizes are coming out of Asia at this point in time. So this is just not looking very good. Okay, so give me a bottom figure then for the euro. Could we see a 110? If some are even calling par at this point, one to one with the U.S. dollar. Yeah, actually, well, that, that comes from us. So since uh, January and earlier, we were extremely bearish on the euro dollar, and we have a forecast of parity for uh, the Q1 of 2011. Wow, there you go. Parity for 2011. Okay, Sebastian, thank you for that. Sebastian Galli of uh, BNP Paribas.